I guess I'll do my little intro here. Bugs. They're everywhere. In the ground. In the sky. In the waters across the ocean. Bugs to be found all around. Bugs, they're all around us, underneath slabs, in the ground, the sky, the oceans and lakes. Bugs can be found everywhere. That is why I have chosen to go out and find the bugs where they're at. I go to their territory and I look at them and I appreciate them for your pleasure. In this show, you're gonna learn a thing or two about bugs because I know a lot about bugs. I'm gonna teach you about them. I'm a bug spurt. So, that being said, let's get started. Now you might notice, it's a little dark out. That's because I know for a fact that bugs all sleep at night. And when bugs sleep at night, that's when you gotta snatch them. So what I've done here, I found a couple little sleeping bugs. You see this little guy right here? Come here. Come here. Come on, bug. Sometimes you want to grab a lot of dirt. So that, oh, I dropped the bug. All right, hey, 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 hey. You gotta, you gotta tame them a little bit. It's okay. I'm your friend. Come on, little guy. You gotta, da, 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 da. Now, if, if you look right here, that's a little, uh, he's crawling around there. This is a little, uh, Blugger. So I, oh, I just dropped him. We'll look at him from here. See how he burrows underground? That's why he's called a blugger. The blugger is a classic bug. It prefers dirt to flesh. You know, any day of the week takes that dirt over the flesh. Uh, it was the first bug that I saw today. Yeah, that's pretty neat. <gasps> see this little guy? Look at that. See those little antennae? This is called an inchworm. No, I'm sorry. This is called a... Mmm... Ah, shoot. Let me, uh... This might be... This might be a new discovery, actually. Let me, uh... Do my notes here. For prosperity purposes, I like to record every bug I come across in my in my uh, yet to be named uh, critter journal. I should have written something on here before we started this, but that's the thing about bugs. Sometimes they crawl up to you make themselves known, and you just gotta roll with it. Like that little guy. He didn't know I was gonna come poking around, but he's being gracious enough to just sit there and let me doodle him. So these little guys are known by their kind of, uh, their, their ringed, their ringed skin. So they're like a little, and they got little, and they got those little antenna on the front. Yeah. So. 
I believe these are called the accordion bug. Accordion bugs are known to curl up into a ball when they get very happy. They're also known to some as a pill bug. <laughs> I know, I know. It's crazy. Not what I'd call it. I'd call it an accordion bug. I didn't check the number of legs. That's something they don't teach you in bug school. You always gotta pay attention to the number of the legs because that might be my det detriment here. My, my detriment. <laughs> so yeah, we've got the accordion bug. That's just, that's just beautiful stuff. You love to see it. So, let's get a little closer to this little guy. No, I'm sorry, little guy. I know you're sleeping. Come on, let's wake up a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Come on to my fingy. All right, now see, he 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 felt my finger and he didn't like it. That's okay. It's a new smell. It's a whole. I'm new. We just met. You gotta kind of just make yourself known. And uh, what's this right here? That is so small. It might not be even be picked up on camera. But right there, there's a little, like tiny, very tiny, right there. That's a little bug. See it? He just flew away. I, I, I swear to God, there's something there. I don't know if it showed up on the camera. But it's the tiniest fly I've ever seen. I don't know how I saw him. It's so dark out. He's rolling up a little bit. He's rolling up a little bit. Yeah. That's exactly, they roll up. That's exactly why they call them an accordion bug. I'm going to pick him up. I'm gonna show it to you guys so you can just get a better look at him. So you gotta, I'm gonna get a little bit of dirt. A little bit of dirt. So that way he's a little more at home. It's, you know, it's like, now, I've got his bed right here, you know? So he's crawling, doing his thing. You know, he doesn't know he's in my hands because he's still in dirt. You got to make him feel more at home. So, oh, he's digging. He's digging through. Maybe this is a little bigger. Uh, oh, whoo, whoo. All right, we've put the accordion bug back to where he belongs. You can have a full night's rest again. Sorry to wake you up, buddy. All right, let's move on. So if you remember right, I picked up the slab. So I'm going to put it back. Tuck him back in. Good night, old guy. So, you know, with that, I think we, I think we finished up this little area here. Let's get a move on. I think there might be bugs around here. Oh. <laughs> now, when you're looking for bugs, sometimes what might look like a bug isn't a bug at all. It's but a pebble. Oh, uh oh, hey, you see that? This guy. Now you see, worms, God, I love them, but not the sharpest tool in the shed. As you can see here, this, this worm is trying to uh, disguise itself, you know? But if you look very, very closely, he's under this rock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick him up. This won't hurt him a bit. Oh, oh, he's a little shy, that's okay. It's okay. A little worm, look at him. See how the dirt clings to the worm? That's from all the mucus on it. <gasps> All right, he's good. Okay, okay. All right. I... Oh, man. I... I, I was really scared there. Uh, 
Okay, you got to be very careful careful with worms. Uh, they're slippery, you know. Uh, one false move, plummet. Luckily, this is a strong little guy. You know, he keeps digging. He keeps squirming, no matter the fall. But, as we all know, this here's a new discovery. So I will be journaling it. The worm is very capable. It doesn't have any arms or legs. Its organs are internal. God, we love the worm. See, see how he, he was originally much more condensed, but you see how he slithers across the earth? Much like the almighty serpent, so too does the worm. Except, the snake is evil and the worm is not. The worm is a very peaceful creature. The worm will never assault you. It will never call your mother terrible names. It will just keep on living. He's nothing but the victim. But he doesn't have a complex about it. No? Just keeps on going. Another little black bug. Could he be the same from earlier? I doubt it. He's on my boot. Oh, he's off the boot. Oh, don't want to step on him. You see him? He's rustling. Oh, he got into the grass. He's gone. Oh, when the bugs, you got to stop the bugs before they get into the grass. You'll never find them again. When I was a young lad, I had a little, little beetle, little beetle as a pet. Boom. Booked it. What is this? It's not a bug, but it's a little... Oh, yeah. So. Get a look at it. So. This was once a cocoon. Now, you see, what's great about cocoon is a bug will form a cocoon around itself when it's very, very cold. And the cocoon will warm it. And then once it's done, once it feels all nice and toasty, it'll break on out. So, but without a bug in it, it's nothing. <gasps> I think we got ourselves a worm. Look at him. Oh, he's kind of interested by the moss. You know, he's kind of feeling it out. Letting it tickle his tummy a little bit. Oh, no, he doesn't like the moss. He doesn't like the moss. You know, he's he's going around it, don't you see? Like, okay, what's he gonna do here? Keep forging ahead? Or will he turn back? He's forging ahead. Man, he's so brave. Look at the way he, he goes zoom. That's how they move. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this. Worms don't have legs. Uh, so they have to crawl, they have to crawl around by going, doing a little something like. Like that. And, uh. That allows them to slither across the ground just by constricting and expanding. God, I could talk about worms all day, but oh, we gotta find another bug, you know? We've got the accordion bug, we've got the little black bug, we've got the worm. Oh, I, would, I would just love, just love to see one more bug. One more bug. And I'll be at, I'd bug out, I'd bug out. All right, all right, let's get, should we do a little bit of digging? Zoom. Uh, not seeing any more bugs around here. No. Uh, you know, they might not dig in mulch actually.
what you, what you want to look for is, uh, since it's nighttime, they're going to be sleeping in their tiny little bug beds. So you're going to want to keep digging until you find a little, little mattress. Man, oh. beautiful, beautiful worms. What's that? Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Is that a slug? Do I see a slug on a leaf? Is that a slug on a leaf? I do believe that's a slug on a... Oh. Did, did he just jump? Or did... Oh, he's... <laughs> Look at him go. He's just hanging there. I, I don't think he did that on purpose. I'm gonna get him down to the ground. Down to the ground. Hey, hey. Little guy. Well, actually, now's a good time. Let's put him in my hand. Don't yank it, don't yank it. Okay, well. You see this little guy? That's what he calls slug. He's very pink and wet and squishy. And probably sticky. Let's give him a little pet. Slugs, you know, they're they're slimy, they're squishy. Uh they jump. You know, a lot of people don't know that they jump, but they jump. They're good at jumping. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they do, like, like, there's so much about the slug that I wish I could, you know, tell you about. But, you know, I, uh, you know, it's not, you know, it's no one's fault. It's not Michael's fault. But, you know, like, we did run out of tape while we were filming. And, uh, Michael didn't realize it. So we, there's a lot of, like, slug footage that we didn't get to show you guys, which is, like, you know, it's, it's, it's too bad, but it's like, you know, most, you know, we ran out of the one tape and most shows, you know, they have more than one tape, uh, to, you know, fill with, you know, various bug related footage. And, uh, we only have the one. So, uh, you know, like I bought the battery myself. It costs a lot of money, but like, like the, the camera, you know, that was provided by the Michelle Fernbird foundation and uh, she's awesome, you know, she's really cool, and she gave me the camera, which is awesome, but I only have the one, the one tape, and, uh, you know, I just think the big, the big wigs, I just think that the big wigs, you know, at ESN could afford to give me, you know, one extra tape, because one extra tape leads to what, five more bugs? I mean, that's great. That's like, the, the, the research is there, the data is there. But, uh, yeah, you know, maybe if I get more episodes, you know, I'll get more tapes, you know, and we know that means more bugs. So, yeah, you know, keep, keep an eye out for future episodes. You should, I think you'd like them, especially if you like this one, you know, uh, yeah, this is Dennis signing off. Slithering out. Bugging out. <laughs> Bzz.